Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. So I'm here with the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. Okay, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up Samsung Pass on this device. So Samsung Pass is an easier way to sign in to all your online accounts without having to always enter your username or password. So this is good for social media accounts and also banking accounts. Okay, so all you have to do instead of using your password and username, you just simply set up your biometrics, for example, your fingerprint, and that's it guys. You can just log in to your accounts using your fingerprint. You don't have to always enter your login details. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how to get everything set up. So just pull down the notifications and go into the settings and then scroll down to where it says biometrics and security, select it and then scroll down and you will see Samsung Pass. So use biometric authentication to verify your identity easily and securely. So select it and then you will see an update. I highly recommend doing the update just to keep the application and all its security features up to date. So I'm just gonna do it later. Okay, so welcome to Samsung Pass. So sign in. So here you will have to sign into your Samsung account. So enter your email or phone number here. You also get the option to continue with Google. So you can actually sign in with a Google account as well if you don't have a Samsung account, I'm guessing. Okay, so I'm just gonna enter my email address real quick. Back in a second. Okay, so I've entered my email address. Just select the little arrow beside it to continue. And here you will need to enter your password. So back in a second, let me just do that real quick. Okay, so I've entered my password. So just hit the little arrow there to continue. And then it will bring you to this page. Welcome to your Samsung account. So you'll have these three little boxes the first one is optional, you don't have to tick it. Um, this one here is optional as well. In fact, all three are optional, so you don't really have to tick them. So just go ahead and hit agree. And then select continue. Okay, so here you will need to add your fingerprint. Okay, so before you can register your fingerprints, you need to set a secure screen lock, pattern, pin, or password. So you've got three options here, pattern, pin, and password. So the first one, pattern, it provides medium security. The pin performs medium to high security, and password is a higher type security. So I'm just gonna use pin. And for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to keep it short and simple. One, two, three, four, five, six. But make sure you use a strong password, one what's not easily guessable. Also, just to be on the safe side, write it down on a piece of paper and put it away safely, just in case you forget your PIN. Okay, so once you've entered your PIN, just hit continue and then you will need to enter it a second time and then hit OK. So pin is set as lock screen security. So now you need to register your fingerprint. So press your finger on the sensor and then lift it off when you feel a vibration. And as you can see the percentage keeps going up each time you press it and you can see the little green markings there within the fingerprint there. It's starting to fill out as you can see each time you press on it and it registers. And I recommend just adjusting your finger each time as well.
and you're just going to wait for it to get to 100% and then it should say fingerprint added go ahead and hit done back up your pin select continue pin back up so scan your fingerprint to verify your identity so just place it on there registering your with Samsung account go ahead and hit OK okay so protect your Samsung account from this point on your Samsung account requires two-step verification so set up two-step verification now so just go ahead and set up the two-step verification and then everything will be complete okay so here you can add the applications and websites that you want to use with the Samsung pass and here you can add your credit card details so yeah guys this was just my video showing you how to set up Samsung pass on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra this video helped you out, you already know what to do. Give the video a thumbs up, share the video. Let me know if you'll use this feature on your Samsung Galaxy S21 or S21 Ultra or S21 Plus. Let me know in the comment section down below. Also subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you get notified the second I upload a video. It's your boy, the Android Doctor, and I'm out. See you in the next video. Deuces.